Hello, world of YouTube. It's post game time. BGJ135 back with uh, time for episode Delta. Uh, real quick before we start off, uh, there was a little cutscene right at the end of the game that I didn't get a chance to record because I had skipped it. Uh, basically, it was talking about uh, Norman and Mom. I forget her. I don't think her, she has a name. Talking about how she has tickets to go see the Litleo Asteroids or something. It's, it's the name of the Pokemon's version of a meteor shower. And. Um, uh, Basically, she's like, what am I going to do with these two tickets? And um, so that's all that happened. And then they show the insignia of the Delta episode. So we're going to go ahead and get in right now. So this is what happens next. Right after you beat the game, this is what happens. <coughs> XXX, the XX of the XX month. The, the day of the, yeah. We're in Moss Deep City. Moss Deep Space Center Celestial Observatory. Uh-oh. Professor Cosmo, it's it's a disaster. The meteorite's trajectory, it's suddenly changed direction. Now it's on a collision course with our planet. Our, our planet. What? Recheck that data. Update the ca ca course calculations and confirm the new trajectory. Target locked on. Confirming the meteorite's new ex expected trajectory now. According to the numbers, it shouldn't make impact somewhere southeast of Sutophilus on a small island off Route 131. Hmm, interesting. But changing trajectories mid-flight? It's almost like it's alive. Hmm, that's really interesting. <laughs> but Professor, what should we do? What do we do? Calm yourself, man. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. So it's come to this. Oh, shit. Small island off of Route 131. That's interesting. Looks like I won't be needing this. Yep. Remember her? Yep, it was Xena all Zinnia all the, the whole time. Xenia got a kind of look cute. Anyway, phew, that's so much better. Oh, I feel so free. That uniform got pretty stinky after a while, and all sweaty too. Mm -hmm. Oh, my adorable little aster. Are you sure? Are you that happy to see me looking like myself again? Ah, uh, looks like you're so uh, you're just so darn cute, like always. But there's not much time for there's not much time left for us. It'll only be a matter of weeks. No. Days. Things have gotten a bit tricky now since that kid managed to stop one of the super H Pokemon from being revived like it should have been. Not that it's really a big deal. I've already thought of a new plan. If I just tweak a bit with the keystone, I want one with plenty of that build up built up with that built up. I swear I'll protect you, Aster. Ooh, the Delta. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Delta episode. I'm gonna try and do all of it today. I, sh I should be able to pull it off. Now she's talking about tweaking keystones, this, that, and the third. I'm not sure, so I guess we'll just find out what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is where, okay. Why, if it isn't Brian, it's been some time since I last saw you. You look sh stronger, somehow. <laughs> That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking of giving these to you. A pair of tickets. Okay, so these are the tickets for what I mentioned earlier. So he's going to give them. Uh, they're tickets to the star show that's being held at Moss Deep Space Center. I was really plan I was really planning to go with your mom, but it looks like I've got to rush back to the gym in Petalburg. Oh, hmm. Uh, you know, it's a pair of tickets. So why don't you invite that little cutie May next door to come along? Now, I'd better head back to the gym. Thanks for looking at the house while I'm away, dear. Of course, dear. You have a safe trip. <laughs> dad got an eye for May, too, hasn't he? Well, I'm just... I mean, anyway. <laughs> oh, that dad of yours. He'll come home the first time in ages, and then he talks all about his Pokemon. Why can't he ever just go and let go and relax? Let it go. Okay. <clears throat> and the tomorrow long-awaited star show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates. Oh, well, look just like that. Look at this, Brian. What's up? As the, lit as the lit Leonoid meteor shower returns to illuminate Huan's night sky, the star show held at the Moss Deep Space Center will provide the best view of the shooting stars from the center's lofty viewing deck. We hope you all will take the chance to join. Oh, it sounds lovely. The lit Leonoids, lit Leonids, lit Leonids, whatever. 
I, I remember going to see them when, with your dad 11 years ago when they last passed by. You should march right over to invite that neighbor girl you're friends with. You can't let the pair of tickets you got from dad go to waste, so take her, take her along. You know what? I will. She's my bae, and no one else talks to her anyway, so I might, I might as well. Why not? <gasps> Zinnia? Huh? Whoa! Aren't we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. It's great to meet you. It's our first real meeting, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course it is. The name's Zinnia, and you? Well, I know all about you. You're Brian, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion. And you're one of the special few who uses Mega Evolution to get even close to their Pokemon now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know, I know. I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping! <sighs> but this sure is a nice place, isn't it? Little Root Town. And everybody living here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to go on like that. We, we should keep our meetings, uh, first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time, then. Bye-bye. I like your theme. Wow, it's really like Xenoblade-like. Oh, sounds like our plan. Speaking of neighbor, May, I've got some tickets for you. Ow, what? Ow, May, are you okay? Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, Wibble, it's not that. It's not that big of a deal, Mom. She just knocked me down a bit. What? No! How oh, am I gonna beat this bitch's ass now? No! 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 No one dares bother with my Bay. Oh, 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 I can't hit women, but I'll get the Pokemon to do it. All right, SC, I got a job for you real quick. Sneak mission. Take out this. Okay, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brian, you're all right, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast that I couldn't do a thing, but some strange woman came into my window upstairs, and then she took my keystone from... Wow, Zinnia, really? Damn, I know you're trying to, like... Do the Rayquaza or something, but Jesus Christmas, you can't be taking people's keystones, knocking my bay out. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stomp you into the ground now. I'm sorry, I gotta curb stomp you, Zinni. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You cute too, but nah, you can't fuck with my bay. Anyway, <laughs> I try to fight her off with my team, but she's really strong. Hmm, that might be interesting then. Uh, well, I didn't stand a chance. I think I heard her muttering under her breath as she left, though. Something like Petalburg's next. Oh shit, Dad, Brian, be careful. Oh God! I gotta fight! I gotta save Dad! Dad! No! I'm coming for you, Pop! All right. <laughs> you better not fucking hurt my father. Sort of Christmas. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna I'm ride there. I'm gonna just hold on. Give me a sec, guys. All right. This motherfucker hit my bay and is not trying to hurt my father. No, Zinny, you can't do that. I'm sorry. I like your looks. You got some style. You're kind of an interesting character. I don't know everything about you yet, but you can't be hurting my dad, though. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You're such a little pain. Shut up and give me the keystone. I don't have it, I tell you. Don't play dumb. I already know you can use Mega Evolution. Ah, aren't you even listening? I've been telling you. Ah, Brian. Huh? What the? You punk. <laughs> Just in time, aren't you? I'm gonna take your keys going too first, you jerk. Oh shit. Everybody's stealing what the fuck? Everybody's stealing keystones. What's going on today? Jeez, this is sweet. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Alright then. First battle of the Delta X. Let's do this. Wow! Really? Wow, okay. You can get that earthquake though. Damn, I don't believe that. People just straight up jacking people's keystones. That's not right. You can't do that. That's wrong. I know there's a meteor coming for Earth and shit, but Zinnia, no. Matt, I don't even know why you need one. What, to mega evolve your Sharpedo? Oh, you clown! Always getting it all up in my business. Ugh, if I'm going to be like if it's gonna be like that, I'm off to Meteor Falls. Hmm. I guess he wants his own keystone too? I don't know. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Brian. That strange man suddenly attacked me, demanding I hand over my keystone. The truth is, I couldn't even give it to him if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left I left it in my house when I went out and it just disappeared. What in the world is going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I've got protected I've gotta protect my mom and dad. You be careful too, Brian. What the fuck, Zinnia? You took Wally's keystone too, for real? Wait a minute. Huh? The entry call version of app range the what? 
Hello? Hello? Is that you, Brian? It's me, Steven. How have you been doing? Have you been doing well? <laughs> I imagine you must be quite shocked. This is the communication mode that Devin is still currently developing. It comes installed on every Pokémon app plus. I thought I would only use it if I needed to contact you urgently, but it looks as though the time has already come. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I need you to come to Devin Corporation in Rustboro. There's something I'd like to have talked to you about in person. I'll be waiting for you there. Huh. That's kind of like the, um... The Poke Gear? Poke Edge? The Poke Gear? Maybe it was in, um... I don't remember. No, no, no. There was a call feature in, um... Uh, Emerald. Yeah, it was an Emerald. Huh, that's interesting. Why is that not back in here? And that's like a beta tool? That's weird. Oh, well, whatever. This remakes all types of weird. Some certain stuff just doesn't connect with the old games, but hey, whatever. It is a remake after all. It's still and it's still fan fucking tastic. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead back off to um, Rustboro, which is literally right up the street. And uh, what's all this? Okay. Uh, all right. So, oh, I gotta. Ooh, wait, what's this? Would you like to check available updates? Sure. Uh, you passed by 30 people. You received the latest news. Secret base is updated. New mirage spots discovered. Oh, not bad. Cool. I'll have to look into that. Mirage spots. All right. Uh, hey, there he is. Brian, I'm sorry about summoning you so suddenly. It's well known how often my intuition turns out to be right, but I never imagined we would be meeting again this soon. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it's not happy news that brings us together. <sighs> This isn't something that we should discuss in public. Let's continue this inside. After you. Aw, oh, thank you, ex-champion. <laughs> anyway. So I guess I'm not getting the, uh... I thought the Eon ticket was distributed through that way. Well, whatever. Dad, Brian is here. Well, well, welcome, welcome. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to forget details just as soon as I learned them. <laughs> Dad? <clears throat> um, oh yeah, I know. I know what you want to say. My, what a hasty and patient one you are. What are we to do with such an impatient one of our, for our own Pokemon League, wait, what are we to do with such an impatient one for our own Pokemon League champion? Hmm. Oh, is that so? So you're the new champion, Brian. And then I guess we'll never break you out of that impatience after all, Steven. Oh ho 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 ho! Dad! <laughs> ah, I know, I know. Can't you take a joke? Ah. Now then, Brian, I'm afraid that I plan, I plan to start in a rather long and quite heavy topic. Are you sure you're ready to take it all in? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> hmm. Then I suppose I should begin. Let me take you back 3,000 years again, here we go, to the days when the story began. See, 3,000? I'm telling you, this connected to AZ, man, and that weapon and stuff. Um, there was a great war at the time in a region far from here. The war was finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man. And what energy source could power such a dreadful weapon? Do you know? You see, it ran on the life energy of Pokemon. That energy that could be gained by the sacrifice of so many Pokemon. There are surely many people who will call it reprehensible. But my grandfather, the president of Devon before me, said this. Couldn't we use the energy to prove, prove to improve the lives of people in Pokemon? And so he developed our greatest creation here at the Devon Corporation. Infinity Energy. What? <laughs> Okay. Well, um, thanks to Infinity Energy, Devon was able to become one of the top industries in Hoenn and develop it into the giant you see today. You may be surprised to learn that the Devon parts you once recovered for us were in fact parts of a motor that would make it possible to power a submarine using Infinity Energy. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, if you're not in an organ before, it was not long before we began to expand our attempts to further human development. Next, we move into exploring space. The rockets launched from Moss Deep Space Center use our infinity energy. They are the true results of our dreams, our passions, our technology. But never did we imagine they could come up as the best hope for saving our world. My preamble has been quite long, but we have arrived at the last, at the last, at the last, at the real issue. This is the overwhelming catastrophe which now approaches us. A huge asteroid, more than six miles in diameter, is currently on track to collide with our planet. Oh my god, that is... Woo -hoo -hoo, that's bad news! Um, uh, we have been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center, which was first to recognize this danger. We are devising countermeasures that would uh, use our rockets, but in order for these plans to succeed, though, we need a meteorite shard. So that's it. You want him to go and get the shard for you? Ha! That's my boy, alright! I knew you'd understand at once. 
It was hardly a deduction worthy of praise. I want you to make your way to Granite Cave near Deerford. According to our surveys, you should be able to find the kind of meteorite shard that we need there. And you, Stephen, I want you, son, to head to the Space Center at once to start the preparations using the link cable that I gave you. Link cable? The link cable? So it is to be a warp system. Yes, I understand. But Granite Cave? Ah, I see. The floor where we first met the floor with the ancient wall paintings. Is it true that there were many shards of meteorites scattered around there? It looks as though it's decided then. Brian, I will head for the Space Center in Moss Deep. If I learn anything, I should contact you at once. Though we'll end up like a one another one sided message like the one I sent you, I'm afraid. Good luck. Steven, you be careful. I know, Dad. <laughs> Look at him. Then I will be content I'll be counting on the two of you to take care of this for me. If you forget just what it is you need to do, come and talk to me again. Assuming I remember as well. <laughs> oh, Mr. Steven. I mean, Mr. Devin. Uh, Devin is Mr. Stone. Whatever. Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, okay. So now we're going to Granite Cave off of Duford Island. So this time I'm going to use the Eon Flute, which I should have right here. Perfect. And we're going to fly over there using Latias. Uh, excuse me. Mega Latias. <coughs> I guess I'll have to get the Eon ticket from one of my friends, or I think it's on power saves too, so hopefully I can show that off later. Uh, but yeah, Granite Cave is right down this way. So let's go ahead and uh, land right here. Perfect. Whee! <laughs> I fucking love flying with Latias. This is like the best thing ever. Well, not the best thing ever, but it's really fucking amazing. Uh, I should, probably should have turned that repel back on, actually, because we're about to go in the cave. <clears throat> Alright then, so, let's go ahead in here, and I guess we're going to the just the exact same spot. Because they said something about going in here and getting the, uh, the what you call it, so it should be, oh, look who it is! Son of a bitch, you just keep appearing right before everything we need to do, huh, girly? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal reversion, while that one shows mega evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestors once lived here too. The ancestors who passed down through me the knowledge of how to protect the world. How to avert the threat that will appear from space as long was foretold. From a place higher even than the heavens. Hmm? What is it, Aster? Oh! You know, I kind of want to beat your butt, but I'll let you talk. We do seem to mean an awful lot, Brian. Are you also, uh, are you also interested in this old painting? Or are you here for the other? Hmm? For one of the meteorite shards that can serve as the source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, I know I adore you. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice, though, and ask first. You ready to battle me, right? Um, I guess so. I do want to beat your butt after what you did to me. That's my boy. I'm not your boy. Now, let's do it. Give me a good taste of everything that you and your Pokemon have to offer. All right, Xenon, let's do this. I'm about to bust your butt. All right, girly. Uh, 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 I'm going to need you to calm down with the monkey moves. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, she should get that Mega Stone though, but uh, I'm gonna need you to calm down with the, the, the little monkey move, alright? It's not that serious. Maybe she's too crazy. Maybe she's already been knocked in the head before. <laughs> okay then. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Alright, <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, this should be pretty simple. I think she's like all about the dragons, and she has a Tyrantrum, which is a uh, pretty awesome dragon. And an Altaria, so yeah, no Mega's just gonna sweep through this real quick and painless. No problem. Oh yeah, this is real easy. Why do you not have- Why does everybody have everything but a Flygon? It's so- Oh, she got that Salamence doll! Okay! See, yeah, that's her Mega right there, I'm pretty sure. I mean, she could have Mega Altaria, but I think What's-Her-Name has it, and not um, her. So I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Claw. Uh, I did get the Intimidate, so let's see. Yeah, he is gonna live it. And now he's gonna go for the Dragon Claw, but we can live it, we a boss. This Flygon is a monster, see? That was a creepy bit of a dead though. <laughs> All right, one more Dragon Claw, taking him out. Get him out of here. Slice and dice. Glorious. All right then, that's that. 
What you got to say, monkey girl? I got revenge for May. I still need to get her keystone back and everything. Oh, see, that's the face I like. Yes, that's it. That's just what I was looking for. See, you don't have to be goofy as fuck. Shit, you can be nice. Nice, real nice, Brian. Oh, I really felt that one. Full points to you. That settles it. You get this meteorite shard as a reward. Oh, thanks. I was going to take it from you anyway, but whatever. <laughs> I need to be nice to her since she's being nice to me. Whoa, what? That glittery meteorite that you got there. Hmm, it sure is giving off some vibes. I'll keep a tight hold on it if I were you, along with the shard I just gave you. What's up? Hey, the actions that you're taking now, are they based on the ideals you cling to? Or are they based on actual truths? Truths? Ideals? Uh, Zachram? Reshiram? Uh, Gen 5? You know them? And if they are, how much of the truth do you think you know? Hmm. Um. Yes, ma'am, moving out. Such a spoiled girl you are, Aster. So what will be our next stop, hmm, sweetie? See, that's kind of, I mean, that's fine and all, but... Huh? Brian, were you able to find the meteor shot that we needed? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back at uh, hurry back to us at Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't have don't seem to have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. Uh, okay then. So we got the meteorite shard. I actually want to look at this real quick. And I think um something happened to. Okay, so this is our. Wasn't this uh purple before? Let me see. Some sort of pattern has risen to the surface. It's shining with seven colors of light. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I think I get what's going on now. Whoa, wait a minute. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen. I didn't even I didn't watch the Delta episode before or anything, but hmm, grand face form to the touch. Interesting. Okay. All right. I think I know what's going to happen. I think this meteorite's going to become a mega stone for Rayquaza, and then we're going to mega evolve Rayquaza that way. Whoa, what was that? Huh. Interesting. I don't know what Pokemon that could have been. All right, so Steven, uh, we're gonna fly to um, to uh, Moss Deep now. Talk to him, and uh, we should be good to go from there. So let's do it. Whee! More Mega Evolution, more Mega Power. All right, so uh, b -b 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 Moss Deep this way. No barrel roll. <laughs> I love that. All right, so yeah, this way, right? Yeah, and right there. All right, cool beans. See how much faster? Well, actually, actually, it is faster to actually use fly. I mean, I could use fly gun and just flew. But come on, you cannot not like to fly with Latios. This is amazing. All right then. So we're here, and uh, I don't think I. I mean, I could real quick. Let me let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Real quick, just heal up. Um, just in case there's like another battle, which I hope doesn't happen. Like, ugh. So far, this episode's uh going by pretty smoothly. It should hopefully be under an hour. So we'll just we'll just see what goes from here, I guess. And uh, we're good to go there. All right. And all right, here we go. Going on here, and let's see what's going on in here. Uh, all right. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You must be Brian. Mr. Steven Stone who told me he was expecting you. This way, please. <laughs> Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Ah, Brian, thank you for coming. And you brought the meteorite shard with you. Well done. All right. I was, I was, uh, it was rather, I was rather surprised to learn that you knew the professor. You really do seem to make connections everywhere you go. Now then, Professor, could I ask you to explain once more about the current plan? Indeed. Uh, please come this way. All right. So what's going on? Okay. There's the uh, yeah. That's a big meteorite. I mentioned that you heard some of the situation from President Stone already. Our current plan involves using the infinity energy within our rocket, combined with the life energy of humans found in Keystones. We will sacrifice. Uh, we'll, excuse me. We will start off by artificially replacing them with the massive energy that is triggered at the time of Mega Evolution. Oh. Okay. So you're gonna. We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. Whoa. Okay. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteoroid, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. Interesting. 
As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices. I think you know what I mean. Those panels that you spin, oh, the war panels, oh, and like Team Aqua's place, huh? They took that, into, or is it just a mass-produced thing you can get for for a small? Well, then again, you can use that in secret bases. I guess they modified it. Okay, anyway, uh, I imagine you stepped on a few such. Yes, I have an audacious plan, and using such technology, you would. May I ask where exactly this asteroid will be warped to? Well, we're not entirely sure, but we do have a device that links the warp holes. We named it the Link Cable. Interesting. But there's no need to worry. Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that there will be sending it away from our planet. However, we've realized that we will need more energy than originally anticipated to control the Link Cable properly. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but with one more Meteor Shard... Hmm? I wonder who that is. Let me guess. Of course! Nice! So this is the heart of the famous space center everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, huh, Aster? Mur -mur. Excuse me, young lady, you can't just let yourself in here. Oh, what's the harm in it? Don't be a, such a stick in the mud. Right? Uh, oh god, <laughs> she, that's that crazy shit, man! I'm telling you, this girl is not right! <laughs> Who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh, me. Oh, what do we do seem to keep running into one another? You are a busy boy, Brian. Who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Zinnia. Just your regular old tourist. Nothing more. Dreaming of taking a little trip into space. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is what has come to human technology and the hope of blood and sweat and tears and... Well, this is kind of boring, but it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. And about just what kind of energy you're using to fuel this rocket thing. The abominable technology humanity first thought of 3,000 years ago. Wow, you're pretty smart, Zinni. Hmm, interesting. Um, so you're once again planning to claim that this is the best for humanity, or best for the whole darn world? And a snap of your fingers to repeat the sin of the past. Worse, if what I've ever heard is true, this time you're able to commit an error more an abominable than before. Tell me, would you rather we sit here wringling our hands waiting for the meteorite to strike us? <laughs> What's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for a former Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang with my hopes on what our current champion has to say. So how about it, Brian? What do you think? Do you have something better? Do you have some better idea? Um, you bet I do. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, that's lied. Oh, really? Well, that's promising. You'll have to tell me so we can set these guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize the way you guys are looking at this, but I want to be sure that you got this through well and good. You know that there are necess necessary sacrifices. There are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment. This is the best you could do with your current technology and knowledge? Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, you'd rather repeat the mistakes of the past straight up? No, you're gonna add new mistakes on top. That really takes the cake. You guys need some imagination. Girl, who the fuck are you? Get out of here! <laughs> Anyway, oops, but you were all in the middle of a conversation about something, right? Sorry about that. I guess we'll just leave or let ourselves out then. Come on, Aster. Who the fuck are you? Damn! Anyway, <laughs> who was that woman? <laughs> and the way she spoke to us, it's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe that you were trying to tell us something before that woman interrupted us. Uh, yes, uh, as you see, in order to complete the warp hole, we will need another meteorite shard, um, an extremely pure one. Then we should head to Granite Cave once again? No, the kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found at Meteor Falls. Ah, Meteor Falls! I see, that perhaps we will learn something there. I will head to Meteor Falls at once. Follow as soon as you're ready. I feel like we might discover even more than a meteorite shard there. Uh, okay, no problem, boss. Um, yeah, because we're going to Meteorite Falls, or Meteor Falls, whatever it's called. Xenia is kind of a jerk. I mean, I understand what she's doing, but you kind of coming off as a smart ass. Like, oh, I know what the right plan is, but I'm not going to tell you guys because you guys have no imagination. Clearly. All right. She's misguided. Anyway, so let's go ahead and fly on to uh, the next area. So that's gonna be Meteor Falls. 
so we're gonna go ahead. My ears meteor falls this way, I believe. Uh, no, that's uh, oh right, 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 right. Okay, that was Granny Cave. Here we go, right here, meteor falls. Um, meteor falls. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's dive bomb. This man just brought me a snack. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, hot. Woo. Um, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I need dive. Let me go back real quick. I mean, uh, not dive. Waterfall. Let me just, um. Mmm. Let me just, uh. That's pretty damn good. Pop pie. I mean, um, apple pie. Hmm. I haven't had I haven't had anything like like food food wise in a good minute, so I am kind of hungry for that. Um, whoop whoop. All right. Up 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 up. Here we go. And we're gonna take out my darling Biko for my darling uh, Mastercard, which has Surf and Waterfall. So yeah. And we're gonna get another piece of this pie in just a sec. Mm. Give me a sec, guys. <laughs> Such a fat ass. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. 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 I'm not as sweet as I want it to be. It's still good, though. I don't know. Have you guys ever had like um rallies? Uh pop pot, pop pie, gosh, not an apple pie. I never had it. It's pretty good. It's just not super sweet. But it's good. Sweet, sweet ass apple pie McDonald's. Mmm. Them boys are sweet as fuck. But um, yeah, okay. So yeah. Just I thought. We would need um because we have to explore the area that we haven't done yet. Yep. Okay. So I think if this is like Emerald and Sapphire, that there's probably going to be battles here. So hopefully, we won't have to deal with that. So let me go ahead and turn this off. Hopefully, this time it won't be an important battle like why I messed up with Wally. I'm still sad over that. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Ow. Mm. I know we're going to rebattle Wally. Uh, what the hell? Wait a minute. What the butt? Oh, is it over here? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see that door. I did not even notice that. Okay, there we go. Alright then. So. Yep, like I said, battles. Um Might as well go ahead and get out the way. Oh, these guys are dragon trainers. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, I remember now. Oh, yeah, it's got a fly guys. Alright, Nicholas. That's why they look like superheroes because they're dragon tamers and Dragons or super Pokemon. I don't fucking know. But yeah. My fog gun's the best. Cannot be stopped. Too powerful. Too strong. Too glorious. Alright. Uh, Nicholas, you got bopped. Sorry about that, bruh. I could actually go for some milk. That was a pretty good pie. Actually, I got another one, too. Hmm. Lunatone in the water. Wait a minute. I think there's something over here. Let me see. Is there... Okay, there is like a... Okay, yep. Alright. Let me just see. Wait a minute. What's over here? Okay. But, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Alright, so. Let's uh, go up here. Or down here, I should say. And uh, where am I? Okay, so there's another battle. Wait. Oh, okay. I guess not. Because <laughs> I can't get past that part. So I guess we're going to swim around. This water is so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so glorious. Uh, wait. Uh, okay. I don't know where I am currently. Oh, okay. And, uh, what? Oh. I don't know what... I'm, I'm going in circles. I'm, 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 I'm clearly going in circles. Alright. Might as well turn that on. Because if we find anything, I'm going after it. Um, yeah. We're going in circles. But hey, the water's nice. <laughs> so, I'm about to get another piece of that pie. <laughs> 
Damn, this water is really pretty. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. Nintendo games and water, they always do it upright, man. I'm telling you. Wait, what's this? Oh, is this the chamber where you would find Bagon? Let me see. Is this the chamber? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Hey! Yep, this is the room where you would find Bagons. Mm hmm. Yep, this is it right here. I'm pretty sure this is the only room where you can find them anyway. Because anytime I would look all over the place in the old game for Bagon, I could not find that motherfucker. Except in here. But, um, I'm trying to find the way up. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go upward. Because we still haven't found Steven, so at least we found that um, Dragon Claw, though, so I'll have to get that later. I'm not doing collectathon for items and TMs and all that stuff. You can look up other videos for that. I'm not doing. Wait. Is there somebody up there? Oh, okay. And there looks like a battle. People in the battle up there. Okay. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Hmm. Am I going the right way? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. We came up this way, right? Okay. I think we're supposed to go over here. Let me see here. Right? No? No? Oh! We, I'm think, I'm stupid. I'm sorry, guys. We're supposed to go down here, right? Right? Yep. Okay, here we go. And then, um... Okay, yep. Another battle. Alright, I'm gonna kick your butt. Just anyway. My muscles! Urgh, strong. Strength. And give me that pie. Give me that pie! Mmm. Catch that earthquake. Mm. All right. <laughs> Her name is Tess. That's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Tess. I don't even know if Tess uses me in Chow's, honestly. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. This is the guy we have to battle. Because we were, we were just here a second ago. That way it took you to the, um, what do you call it? Oh yeah, the Dragon Claw. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. You doing good? You doing good? I need something to drink. I'm gonna drink the rest of that milk. Okay, now that we cooked this butt, now let's see what's up here. So I don't have to worry about it when I go back down because there's probably an item up here. Unless I'm wrong. Yep. Let me see. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. There's nothing up here at all. Not even a hidden item. What the fuck? A waste of time. Well, shit. Screw you, man. What was that? That sounds like a Generation 5 Pokemon. Double battle! Double dragon battle. This pie is getting destroyed. Mmm. 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 Let's try that. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I should have brought him the um, Gyarados because Intimidate. What was I thinking? Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, powerful. Get him out of here. Of course, Hariyama will live. It's Hariyama. Hariyama. What do you do? Close combat? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Bruh. You can't take two hits, though. Why wow, he took two hits? Okay, then. Alright, then. Get him out of there. Get him out of my sight. Hmm. Okay. We still haven't found Steven, so... I'm pretty sure this is the right way though, because there was no other way after this. Uh, that one, just in case. And look what we found, Brian. We have the meteorite shard. All that and, and all that, and I have come to understand many things as I suspected might happen. Allow me to introduce you. The honorable lady you see before you is the descendant of the ancient Draconids. 
Okay. Yes, um, I am one of the draconic people. Um, maybe I should do my old lady voice. Uh, in my day! Okay. One of the ancient folks tasked with passing... Let me not do that. That's way too... <laughs> I'm just going to do a normal uh, lady voice. <laughs> yes, I'm one of the ancient opponents. One of those ancient folk tasked now with passing down the knowledge of mega evolution with the great lore of Lord Rayquaza, who was beginning of all. Okay. Since time long gone, Hoenn has repeatedly stuttered, suffered great disasters. At time, they destruct the destruction took the form of a huge meteoroid, which fell upon our land from distant space. At other times, the primal reversions of our own super ancient Pokemon brought us to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza saved us from doom. The chosen Lord Keeper, standing before a stone that shone with rainbow light, offered up a wish to the Great One. Oh shit, Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> Your wish has been granted. <laughs> And Lord Rayquaza's body was suffused with a brilliant light and transformed. In this state, in this transformed state, Rayquaza's power was more devastating than ever before, overcoming even the super ancient Pokémon with all their primal power. A rainbow-colored stone, an invocation from the Lord Keeper, and a Rayquaza unlike any ever seen. I see. It does resemble what we know in the process of Mega Evolution. Yes, indeed, it does. A Pokemon, a person, a stone of power, the bonds that tie them all together. The transformation of the Pokemon that occurs as a result of the phenomenon what's called Mega Evolution is by later peoples. So the mecha mechanisms for Mega Evolution was discovered as a result of the first meeting between humanity and Rayquaza. Hmm. I have the one last question. The Lore Keeper you spoke of. The Lord Keeper is one who has inherited the knowledge of power of the summon of Lord Quasa when disaster imperils this world. The true Lord Keeper of the current generation is the one called Zinnia. That disaster now approaches our planet and it has twice as it has twice before. Zinnia has been trying for some time to avert it in her own way. To draw Lord Quasa to our spear, she joined a certain organization that sought to revive the super ancient Pokemon. She taught them the secrets needed to bring back these threats to some of the Great Dragon itself? What?! She fucking put the events in the- to get Kyogre! Wow! Zinnia! Okay, see, you fucking- Oh my- we'll have to stop her. And now it seems she traveled the land, scouring the world for keystones. So it was true. As I had suspected, that woman who appears at the Space Center was one of the Draconids. But I never dreamed she was involved in the attempt to revival the Super Ancient Pokémon. In full knowledge of the power they held, fully understanding what terrible changes they would wreak upon the world, still she helped bring that situation about? Did she give a thought to the many people and Pokemon whose lives were put at grave risk by her actions? Could she accept the inevitable sacrifice of so many lives in order to protect the planet from the coming meteoroid? Balance must rule this world. History is doomed to repeat itself. While our people have overcome many mystery and many disasters in the past, it was always through great, great sacrifice. Yet we have continued to struggle to preserve peace for many years as we can. This is how we have protected our world, upon which we now live. People, Pokemon, all nature, and yes, even you. I do not know exactly what you plan to do, but do you believe that you are not sacrificing anything for your own protection? Xenia will follow her convictions until the very end. Ever, 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 even knowing the sacrifices they will require, even if the sacrificial blade is leveled at her own heart. Wow, this is kind of deep. Is that right? I understand. Thank you for everything. What is this? This vague sense of apprehension. And my intuition has often proved true. Hmm. I'm going back to Rust Bowl first. I have to go back to Devon. Alright then, bruh. That silver-haired dreamboat said he would <laughs> send it back to Rustboro. Oh boy, <laughs> I have no words. I, I, don't, I don't know. I have no words. What am I supposed to say? <gasps> what? Hey, we got an Aerodactyl light. All right, shut up. Wait, is there something else here? Wait, there was, it was on top of it. Wow. I thought it was going off because of the uh, thing, but okay then. The fairy. All right, so uh, yeah, we're we're out of here. That's interesting. Oh, he had the. Uh, okay, we don't have it. So okay, whatever. Wait a minute. This is it. All right. So he has the uh, the other mega shard. 
I mean, the Mega Shard, the Meteor Shard. So now he said he's going back to Devon. So I guess we'll go back to. Yeah, yeah. Mega Shinka! Oh, I love that animation. It's so raw. Alright then. So, Devon Corp. Um, I believe it's back this way. Rustboro? Rustboro, Rustboro, Rustboro. Which is right. No, it's Pittsburgh. Rustboro should be right here. Here we go. Oh, I went way over. I could have just. I actually could have. Uh, ugh, I wasn't even thinking. I could have went around the other way, but whatever. We're here, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Before I go in, though. I want to heal up real quick, like, bruh. Real quick, like, bruh. With the quickness, bruh. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, continue this episode. This episode is nice. You're learning a lot about Pokemon, the Mega Evolutions, the Primals. It's so interesting. A lot of it's like... I, I like it. I like it. It's basically giving us a backstory of Mega Evolution. And Rayquaza actually is the original Mega Evolving Pokemon, it seems. Um, other than that... I like it. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Oh! Hmm? Ugh. What? Damn! Okay. Ouch. Oh! Oh, you're that fantastic trainer who helped me before. You geek! Hey, you've got to help me, please! Whoa, you're the kid from tra you're the kid trainer I met before. Ah, oh, you're getting in my way again. <sighs> I'm gonna kick your butt. Okay. <laughs> See, I gotta stop. <laughs> Team Aqua again. Here we go. I thought we was done. I thought y'all was cool. What's the problem? This uh, what's going? Y'all, y'all need to stop, for real. We just had an agreement, didn't we? That about the primal reversion, and that you guys were gonna think about working together. So was that all a bunch of bunch of hoo ha? What's up with Archie? I need to talk to Archie. What's going on, man? All right. So I guess I have to beat these guys' butts. So this shouldn't take too long. Dragon Claw, and of course we're keeping the animations off. We want to get through this quickly. Get him out of here. Level, 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 level up. Level up. Yeah, another defeat. Give me that money. Give me that money. Grr, I'm des destined to lose to you all the time. Yep, you sure are. Oh shit, another one. What's wrong, Grunt? Ah, you again? I mean, what? Ah, you again? Fine. Sure, I know I can't win, but I'm going to challenge you for Matt. Mm. So, is this just like a battle run? Oh, jeez. This is going to take a while, I guess. I'm glad I turned off the animations. Uh, where's my stylus? I can't find it. I always lose. Oh, there it is. Like, I always lose this thing. All right. Muck, Earthquake, GG, Nori. <laughs> Get him out of here! Come on, you guys are plebeians. You're actually plebeians. You guys actually are plebeians. Like, come on now, for real. Sound the retreat! It's only good sense to save my own hide. For Matt's sake! For clearly for Matt's sake. Oh great, another one. I'm hungry, so I'm going back. Hello, the professor keeps running behind us. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, what a weakling, man. He's such a I don't know. Oh, I understand, like, okay, brains versus brawn, but still, come on, you can't, you don't have a Pokemon to fight for you? I mean, fight with you? Professor, uh, whatever your face is? I don't know, I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm just gonna toss this real quick. That was delicious, though, I like that. Mmm, delicious and nutritious. I still want some milk, though. We're not gonna get that later. Uh, Sharpedo! You can get that earthquake. Everybody has a Sharpedo nowadays, sheesh. I'm the only one. Am I the only one here without a Sharpedo? I mean, I do actually have a couple, but not Kalos born, or should I say, uh, six generation Sharpedos, or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. With the blue Pentagon, okay? Jeez. Is that it? Like, I lost, I figure. I'm gonna go get some grub. Is that it? Oh, my God. Th -th Thank you. You helped me again. And as my thanks, I give you another great. Uh, oh, now it's not the time for this. We're in big trouble. Team Aqua stole that control device for the link cable that our company has been developing. It's a special cool called the Dimensional Shifter. The person who stole it was a huge man with bulging muscles, Matt. <laughs> what shall I do? What should you do? What shall I do? They may have seen headed for Moss Deep Space Center. Steven must have gone ahead with the Space Center, but I'm worried. 
Wow. Well then, um, let's go ahead to the space center. <laughs> I probably should just flown that time. Oh my gosh. So the dimensional shifter, the link cable. This is a whole bunch of interesting. Why is it called the link cable? Sure, I know what the link cable is because the good old days of Gen One, Two, and Three, uh, we use link cables to play each other. So I don't know what's going on. It's just a weird name. It just makes no sense. Anyway, let's just head off here. <clears throat> yeah. We. Yep. There we go. All right then. And now we're going to. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to switch over because um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have another magma encounter. Let's go ahead with Duke this time because you know water. I mean, I could use Essie, but Duke hasn't been getting uh, enough screen time. Flygon's just been going in. Uh, with his no mega charm. What, 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 what? Oh shit, here we go! Let's go, grunts! Wait, is that the, um. Oh no. Oh, wait, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta put him back on. <laughs> I just realized. Because if that's what I think it is, that means, um, uh, uh the, the, what you call it? You know, the, the, the horde encounter. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, no. I don't think we need that right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're about to do the horde encounter again. Uh, yep, here we go. We got that music. Yep, okay, here we go. Hmm? Yep, I was right. Tee hee hee. We finally meet again. It's been three. Mm, how long has it been? Nick Kapoop, it doesn't matter. Brace yourselves. We won't let you call us Nick uh, the Quintuplets or nothing. I don't know what they said. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You're all going down. One shot. Earthquake. Mm -hmm. Didn't they have Pushy in it before? Oh, yep, I was right. Howard's Mighty in it. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem, though. As long as they don't have Intimidate, they probably have Intimidate, don't they? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! My attack! I'm negative five, dude! Can I still kill them with... Oh, shit, wait. Can I still kill them with Earthquake? Let me see what happens. I'm negative five. Let's see what happens. Uh, loading? Yo, I still took him out! <laughs> Fly got too strong! Fly got too strong! Oh, no, we lost again. Oh, that's gay. I mean, that's evil. <laughs> I mean, that's wrong. Ha! <laughs> Horde encounter uh, intimidate. That's ridiculous. I wanted to win in a style like the Hoenn Rangers. It's I. That strategy, intimidate five times in a row, should be invincible. Ah, see? I told you. That's that's messed up, guys. Really? Really? You're going to do that? That 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 that's actually a good strategy, but like really, for really, 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 you're gonna you're gonna cheat. You're gonna be um, that's just that's that that's that. See, triple battle. Don't want to deal with it. Oh, okay. So what's going on up, up here? Your time is impeccable as always, Brian. Team Aqua, why do you intend to do? With, what do you intend to do with that device? You realize that this is the last hope we have of saving this planet. What was that? What last hope? Mm. <laughs> I ain't laughing one bit, punk. My bro, my bro who I've loved so much. Are you trying to tell me that everyone we've done, uh, everything we've done up until now was a lie? The ties that bind us all was a mistake? My bro has changed since you got mixed up with you. Uh, he got mixed up with you. How convenient it must be for you to put another, uh, to all the blame on another. Shut it! I, I'm not, know what? The rock is full of crazy amounts of energy. If it's even more awesome than the ultimate weapon that ended the war 3,000 years ago, right? What? If I use this keystone I found at Meteor Falls, I could force the energy inside the rocket to explode. It'd be like a mega evolution for the rocket! <laughs> Who needs a meteoroid? I'm going to bring an end to of all this with my own power! Oh my god! This guy's trying to fucking blow up the world because he's Archie's the depressed or some shit! What the fuck?! The one who will complete Project Azov and take the world back to its beginnings is me! What the fuck? This man is a crazy! This man's lost it! I'm about to destroy him. Are you kidding me? That man's crazy. Matt, you done lost your mind. He's trying to murder everybody with the fucking rocket! With the, like, the power of the ultimate weapon! You remember the ultimate weapon, and you, I didn't finish the let's play, but I'm pretty sure you guys beat the game X or Y. And Y, that thing was huge! You could see it from space! The beam! And if he's talking about blowing this motherfucker crazy, man. What is wrong with you, Matt? Damn. This man. Oh, he's got the, uh, oh, okay. Okay, man, I see you. Hey, he got the keystone, so he probably should have Mega Stone. Now you got it. 
Not bad, man. Okay, you about to get Bob though, because yeah, it's my boy. Oh, oh, I turned off the um, animations too. Shit, <laughs> I forgot to turn them back on. Oh well, it's all right. We're getting through this real quick. Oh, what an e this man is insane. He fucking uh, I can't believe he. Wow, <laughs> that's that's just wow. That's wow. He still wanted to complete the project to bring the world back to the beginning by sacrificing that, that man. You, that man's insane. Wow, I can't get over that. How crazy that is. Wow. And even then, that laser wasn't as strong as the original power of the ultimate weapon. He said, uh, Lysander, when he fired that thing, said, this should still have enough power to either give you guys eternal life or uh, show off the power of its destruction or something. And then he got trapped in the uh, thing and died, apparently. So, yeah. Wow. That's, 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 this guy's crazy. Matt, are you crazy? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Am I not good enough, bro? Brian, now is our chance. Take the dimensional shifter in. Hmm? What? Aster snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. That Pokemon, doesn't it belong to? Nice one, Aster! Way to go, Zinnia. You saved the world. You are the, the Draconid, yep. Or you can just call me Zinnia. Aster! Thank you, dear. Now then, this is an impressive machine. Snap your, uh, snap your fingers, the asteroid vanishes, and we'll all live happily ever after. <laughs> Did she clap? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Indeed, it's like that from former champ said. That thing is the best hope we have of saving this planet and everything on it. But you know, if we could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everyone on it. What are you trying to say? I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Uh, damn! But you, Brian. Hope, hope, hope for our world, tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? You know what? I, I'm gonna say I do, yeah, I do. You've come through again, you never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we've passed along the lore about the distortions in the world born by mega by the mega evolution mechanism, and about the existence of another world which we have long to observed to be just like this one, and yet not the same? That's right, a horn region that's almost exactly like this one we live in, filled with Pokemon and people like us. A world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path, where Mega Evolution is unknown. A world where that war 3,000 years ago never happened. A world where the ultimate weapon was never built. All in that Hoenn of the world. What world happened if one day out of the blue a meteoroid appeared? What would happen to the people of that world without the technology to destroy the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? Looks like it's beyond that power of their. Looks like it's beyond the power of your imagination. <gasps> oh! Ho, ho! Oh shit! What kind of fool are you? You have no substantial proof, and yet you claim another world just like our own exists. Out of this fantasy, you you've destroyed our only hope. What have you done? I mean, what have you done? Farewell, brief hope. You you don't even know. Now what are we going to do? Calm down, there, Prof. It'll be okay. I we. We can protect this world and the other. Who exactly is we? What are your intentions? Oh yeah, silly me. I forgot the other thing I came for. Huh? Ah. Damn, she- This girl- <laughs> I can't get out of this shit! Wait a minute. So, she got her whisper to take the thing from Matt, broke it, and then snatched the keystone he got for himself. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Zinni is a badass, dude. What? Urgh. And the keystone, and that's the keystone gotten. Now I've put it together with the keystone that we've got in their base, that they've got in their base. Urgh. Looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself now. Later. Urgh. Wait, does she have a crush on me? What the fuck is wrong with her though? Hold on! Th th that punk! How dare she take away my bro Archie's keystone? Not cool, man. Not cool. Confound it all. So she must be making the name Aqua's hideout next. Think, Steven, think. What to do, what to do. Well, I know where I'm going, to the Aqua Hideout. What the fuck, dude? This girl is insane, man. So she took Matt's Keystone, and now she's gonna take 
Archie's keystone and she also took May's keystone and Wally's keystone and she has her own keystone and I have my keystone dude come on man does it take that much energy to summon Rayquaza that's what she's trying to do she's trying to call Rayquaza I got that obviously and trying to make it mega evolve hmm that's that's that, that, that but no you can't just come on now she broke the I mean I understand okay I get it there's another world, I guess. I don't know. Okay, the Aqua House. Uh, can I just fly there? Let me see. No? Okay. Whatever. Um, so apparently there's like another world or some garbage. I think they're refer rep rep referencing oh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald of the original games back in 2003. That's what she's referencing. Because this is a remake and it's all weird like that and shit. I don't know. So... Yeah, that would all make sense, I suppose. So, wait a minute. Does that mean that Generation 6, this generation, Mega Evolution, Kalos, and this Hoenn are all its own dimension? Or are all the... Uh, it's Oh, God, this is confusing. It's really confusing, but I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Alright, so, what's up? That trainer with black bobbed hair, she was incredibly strong. But our leader is but our leader's beyond the room full of war panels. It's not that easy to get there. A woman with whisper is inside. Okay. What 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 is that dragon type Pokemon user? Her strength, it's astonishing. Was she stronger than Ar would you say she's stronger than Archie? Well, I don't know about that. Archie's a uh, pretty badass, but I can beat him. So if she can't beat me, she can probably beat Archie. Um, which way? Oh, fuck. I forgot which way to go to Archie. Uh, I think it's this way? I don't remember. It's been a while, guys. Give me a minute. It's been a good week. Okay, nope, that's not the way. Oh, jeez. Alright. Speaking of which, the war panels, remember? They're using the same technology, Infinity Energy. <laughs> Alright then, so, I think it's this, huh? What? That girl may have totally destroyed me earlier, but I can't go all the way on the tut 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 are we rebattling? Come on! Do we have to rebattle it? Oh! I, uh, I don't want to rebattle everybody here. I ain't got time for that. I gotta get to Archie. Why do you guys want to battle me again anyway? You want to get bought for the second time? I'm gonna fight. <laughs> I went. <laughs> I went to astronomical highs in that little point. There. <laughs> I'm gonna get to a higher also. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Come on now, Game Freak. I done beat these plebeians already. I'm not trying to go through it all again. I have to do it again. Yep. Wow. You know what? This is why we keep the animations off. Ugh. Okay. I think I've got it, though. I like this, though. I do like this episode because it's like plot, 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 battles, battles, plot, plot, story, all of it. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's it's they really they really been doing pretty good so far with this game like the plot and everything and then you got the graphic the graphics are way better than X and Y's though holy <laughs> so much better um, the new evolutions the primal reversion this backstory for Mega Evolution everybody thought Lucario was the original Mega Evolution nope it was actually Rayquaza of course they would give the legendary a freaking the, 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 I mean come on I understand Lucario's popularity and everything but to have him be claimed to be the first mega evolving Pokemon, nah, I don't, I don't, I'm glad it was Rayquaza. And then he had to be banned. <laughs> Rayquaza, if you guys don't know, there's a new tier on Smogon called Anything Goes. Rayquaza is apparently so freaking busted that they had to make a new tier just, just because he's so strong and he can use items. He's a mega Pokemon that can use items. He all he needs to have apparently is the move Dragon Descent, Dragon Ascent, and you can give him a life orb, but show his band, show his scarf, whatever, and he's busted. He can destroy a lot of Pokemon. After one Sword Dance or one Dragon Dance, this guy is like, oh, is more stronger than Arceus, he's stronger than Mewtwo Knight Y, I mean Mewtwo Y or Mewtwo X. So he had to go to his own tier, which is called Anything Goes. Basically, Anything Goes, except for I think one thing. Which is uh, the endless battle clause. Everything else is cool. Six Mirgo, six Clef Keys, six Rotom, six Rayquazas, whatever you want to do. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's that's it's 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 uh, it's a new tier. And now 
Well, actually, AG is actually a ban list. And now Uber is it's, its own tier. So I'm guessing Smogon thought ahead for the future. Because, you know, if this guy exists, what's to say for the next game? There's definitely going to be a Pokemon X2, Y2, or Z. Whatever the hell it's going to be. Hell, they might make three games. X2, Y2, and Z. They might just do that. Or they'll just make Z or just X2, Y2. I'm pretty sure. Because the way this game is going... Comparing it to Black and White, Black 2, White 2, because Black 2, White 2 is a unique situation. It's basically the third game, but technically twice. There's two versions of it. Because I think, I think what's going to happen, why am I doing Thunder Fan? I think what's going to happen is, we're going to get, I'm trying to think. The way this game is going, and looking at the backstory of X and Y, and how Professor Sycamore theorized that Mega Stones are actually stones that were uh, mutated from the energy of Xerneas and Eveltoff from the ultimate weapon but actually it seems like mega stones are actually uh wait this is not the right way it seems like mega stones are actually the um uh, rem asteroids they're like they're like meteorites with all that energy and they mutate over time i don't fucking know it's it's all real confusing but I, I, I like the lore. There's a lot of lore. The deepest lore. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good, though. I like it. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay, yep. And you, then you go over here. And then that should be it. Yep. Okay, wait. Let me save. And also, I do want to... If we get to battle her, I do want to turn on the animation so we get to see at least that. I like, I like battling her. She's got a nice theme. And she's got monkey arms. Ugh! All right, and the winner is Zinnia. Archie, are you okay? <sighs> I'll be key hauled. How did I get beat by this little slip of girl? Mur -mur. Oh, aren't oh what oh what's this? Aren't you a happy little girl, Aster? Just what I expected, my daughter. We're so in sync. I <laughs> got a daughter. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you, who are you? Hmm? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. I couldn't become I couldn't become who I was supposed to be. So who does that make me now? Huh, whatever, right? Enough with the in in introspection and the soul searching. You there, Brian? Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come over and say hi. What is she? She definitely has a crush on me. You, scamp. But why are you? Isn't it obvious? He's the hero, right? He's going to he the hero. The he he's here to save the world again. Oops, but it looks like he's a bit too late this time. If only you'd been here just one minute earlier. What? Damn, she's just an ass. See, she just... I'm, I'll have no words. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. There now. I'd say this keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Aster. Huh? Now we can do it. The summoning. We will summon Rayquaza. See? I told you guys. Well, then, it looks like my job here is done. So don't mind me while I excuse myself. Oh, Brian, I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know? We'll be heading... <laughs> she wants the dick, man! <laughs> See, I'm going for me! Zinnia's trying to get me! It's just the... It's the Delta! <laughs> it's the triangle! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be heading to the ancient tower of Seals since primal times. The Sky Pillar. If you don't know where that is, well, ask that former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. Find me there. Mer. Oh my goodness. Wow. Sorry, Archie. Oh man. What makes her think she can just do whatever she wants and then hide till it out of here? Little scamp. <laughs> Fine. I guess it's just fate that you showed up now of all times. Shelly, give it to the kid. <gasps> what? Is it okay? Yeah. What can I do now with the Mega Stone anyway now that I've lost my Keystone? I understand. Oh, <gasps> am I getting that? Hey! Thank you, Archie. Thank you. Thank you, big dog. <laughs> the Sharpedo Knight. Make sure your Sharpedo holds on to it tightly. You take my power, Scamp. I'm giving it to you. <sighs> that woman. I don't know. I don't think she's just any old trainer. Not with that the way she controlled those Dragon-type Pokemon of hers. I've got no idea what she's planning. But I think you're our best bet at stopping her now, little Scamp. Do that for me. Um, I don't know if I need to stop her. I mean, we do... Well, you know, anyway, the entry call, but, uh, oh god, excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Brian, are you alright? Is that right? I never imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Draconid people. So that's it. I begin to see the lines connecting these dots. 
I think we need to meet up at once to discuss what we should do next. I'll be waiting at the Space Center up on floor two. Do hurry. Gotcha. All right then. So, like I was saying, what was I saying? I don't think we need to like kick her butt because now that she's freaking destroyed, the only means, uh, well, the only, well, the only, I guess, human means of saving the world with the, you know, destroying the dimensional shifter, we kind of need Rayquaza. So if she's gonna be able to summon him and shit, I mean, hey, fucking, come on now. Oh boy. Um, so let's go ahead and head out of here. And that guy's gone, or girl, I should say, whatever. Um, okay, then we're gonna go to um, this one, I believe, <clears throat> and go over to this one, and, uh, yep, okay, we're going right way, and then over here, and then finally, down through here, into the water, yep, well, outside, I should say, the outside cave, all right, we're good to go. Okay then, so now we're going to head off to Moss Deep. But this time I'm just gonna fly there. I'm not gonna use Latias. Just gonna use uh Flygon. Oh boy. This episode, I really like this episode. I mean I actually know where Sky Pillar is. I could just go there, but I think that we have to trigger the through an event first, because like I said, Steven was the very first next person to talk to us after Xenia said, Hey, follow me to Sky Pillar. So, let's go ahead and talk to that bruh. Real quick, the silver hair dream boat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. And... And we didn't even battle her, so I didn't even need to turn the animations on. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's go through here. Go up here. And... And... Uh, okay, here we go. Brian, I've been expecting you. What's up, Steven? Bruh? Brasif? Brohamskyer? Brohamski? Ahem. Ah, uh, that's it. The woman, that Zinnia, she mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it. Only the successors of the ancient world who know what it has been. The, uh, the lore keepers who are tasked with passing on the knowledge to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace, whom you met in Sotopolis? Yeah, of course. I mean, I just beat him like a couple days ago. Is that right? Oh, that's a relief. The gym leader of Sutopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. He is also one of the few humans to have inherited such ancient lore. I will remain here and work with the, profession, uh, the professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman, Zinnia, I cannot put my faith in her. We will think of a new way to stop the meteor on our own. Zinnia and the Sky Pillar. I will leave them in your hands. I will send you a message to Wallace for you so you know, so he knows to help. You will probably find him in the Cave of Origin in Sotopolis. Okay, got it. Alright, so you guys are still going to come up with um, that ultimate weapon, Infinity Energy thing? Alright, guys. I mean, she already destroyed the thing that you guys needed to use it, but uh, hey, whatever. See, Xenia knows the way to do things. I think Xenia's got it, and she also wants the dick, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sotopolis, here we go. And I don't know if I have to fight Wallace or not. I probably am gonna have to fight him if I remember correctly. Yeah, we'll see. Um, turn that on. So yeah, let me. Uh, hmm, I think we're actually getting pretty close to getting to Rayquaza now too. If we need to head to Sky Pillar, I'm gonna need a Master Ball. So. If you guys can give me moments, give me moments, okay? I need to do something really quick. Uh, let me see here. Do I have Master Balls? What balls do I have? Got... Uh, I don't have it, shit. Hmm. Okay. Alright, guys. Give me a moment. I need to do something. Um... Shit, is there a way to stop? I can't, like, pause, can I? Replay buffer? No, there's no way to pause. Shizzlebossy. Mmm. Let me think. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I have it in Y. If I have a Master Balls in Y, I'm just gonna trade over two of them. Well, three or four. Whatever. Because I'll probably have to use it for Legendary Pokemon later anyway, so... I'll just trade over a team of six. Alright, let me just see. What can I trade over? 
and get those uh, balls. Pretty sure I should have at least six, though. Alright, like, yeah, okay, this is fine. I'll just make up, uh, okay, you, you, uh, you stay, you go, you stay, you go, okay, all these, these first six will go. Alright. So yeah, give me a moment, guys. I hope I have them, though. I'm pretty sure, because I did the thing earlier, I should have them in here. Let me just uh, make sure. Uh, ba 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 M. M A M A. Cool. Oh, I actually have a perfect 10. Perfect. Okay, then. Alright, so... Let me just, uh... Shit, I actually don't know if I have six slots, though. <laughs> oh, boy, let me see. Do I even have six slots? Ugh. I don't think I do. I don't know, I don't have six slots. I guess I'll just trade all of these over. It doesn't matter. Alright, that's fine with me. Yeah. Except for you. You stay here. I mean, I'm trading them back anyway, so whatever. So I can have them back. All right then. Time to initiate trade sequence. Friend Brian, trade. Yes. Oh wait, I gotta turn that off because I forgot to put the balls on them like an idiot. Give me a moment, guys. I know he's like, oh Brian, you're cheating. I want to catch Requaza real quick. I ain't got time for that. Remember what? Hell was put through with fucking Kyogre. I ain't about to deal with that, guys. I'm sorry. I will let the music play so you can hear the battle, though. I'm pretty sure that that's fine. But other than that, I gotta get him. We gotta blow that meteorite up. I guess using Mega Rayquaza. He's gonna use a super duper hyper beam. Blow it to smithereens, if you know what I mean. And one more makes six. There we go. Cool beans. Alrighty, now it's time to initiate the trade. So give me one sec here. Trade. Wait, uh, trade. There we go. Yes. Save. Alright. And now, there we go. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Damn, I wish there was the way to pause in OBS, because this is how I'm recording for you guys, by the way. Uh, if I was using Sony Vegas to record everything, of course everything would be 1080p gloriousness, but um, due to the factor of my computer being absolute garbage and me wanting to show off my uh, layers and stuff, I decided to do it uh, this way, so sorry about that. Alright. Okay. I got a Pokeball hacker thing, Mitchie. I got a. Uh, it's a, a, a hack Vivian. It's not legit. I mean, I can get a legit one if I want to, but uh, don't really care for Vivian to do that. Don't care for it enough, I should say, to do that. So, nah, I'm good. All right, now, uh, number two. Alrighty. Boosh. Which car? I can't do the. That's like that's like the it, the sound it makes. It um. What's the game? In Pokemon Snap, I think in in uh, Pokemon Stadium One and Two though, it says his name. <sighs> they really need to make another Pokemon Stadium. I mean, uh, Pokemon Snap. I want Pokemon Snap 3DS or Pokemon Snap U, and I also want Pokemon Stadium Three. But uh, Janichi Masuda said something recently that said, uh, "We we don't feel like the need to make Pokemon Stadium Three or Snap U because we don't feel as if." Um, something or another about the technology or something that it's not groundbreaking enough to make it like 
I don't know. He's saying he's saying a bunch of bullshit. Basically, he's saying he went. He's waiting for a new technology, something amazing, so that they can make it. And I'm saying you're pulling a game newable on us. You want to wait for something amazing like a new engine for like we're still we're not gonna get Half Life Three because Gabe's waiting for something spectacular or some shit like that. Uh, this is just a, a theory from fans and uh, John John, but. Uh, Personally, I don't care about uh, Half-Life 3. I want fucking Pokemon Snap U and uh, Pokemon Stadium 3D. Oh, the reason he said he doesn't feel like making or he doesn't feel that there needs to be uh, um, Pokemon Stadium 3 or Pokemon Battle Royale 2, whatever, is because currently the uh, the hardware, just because the hardware is higher res and everything, doesn't feel that there was a demand for uh, because... Just because he's like, oh, just because putting it in 3D means it should be uh, something that would make something amazing or some bullshit. Like, he doesn't want to make it on current hardware, basically. He's saying it's not, it's not just, uh, it's not, he doesn't think just from putting the Pokemon from what how we see them now and then putting them into HD wouldn't be worth it. When clearly everybody jumped from Smash Bros. 3DS to Wii U and didn't look back. That's a huge comparison. Looking at Smash Brothers to Wii U, oh my gosh, the games are worlds apart in terms of visuals. For th that t to be, oh, I forgot about this crap. <laughs> I totally forgot that was gonna happen. Shoot. Oh well, just give it a sec, guys. But anyway, I'll just keep talking about uh, how I think uh, Mr. Masuda is on a, a bunch of bullshit. I mean, if you compare those two together, you can make something magical with Pokemon Stadium 3. It doesn't just have to be the jump comparison of graphics and everything. Just, oh, it just pisses me off. Because think back to Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Sure, it was amazing going from 2D to 3D, but I see what he's saying. Oh, going from 3D to HD? Nah, it's not worth it, is, is what he's saying, basically. When it actually is worth it. The games right now, sure, they look great and all, but you play these things in 3D, they lag like hell. And it's and it's ridiculous. Wait, did I do it right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. And and it's just like, oh. I would love to see some high definition, glorious, fully animated, mega thousands of pixels going at a second, polygons, all that shit, on all the Pokemon with new animations and everything, and glorious HD with 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 a new story and I don't know just make it happen man shit stop coming up with excuses now Pokemon Stadium this Pokemon snap you I understand oh we don't the, we we see the, the 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 it would be good but we just don't want to like he's he's just coming up with a blue he just wants a new like oh I'm, I'm getting really winded now <laughs> he wants like a new um a new mechanic to the story he doesn't think just oh just the fact that uh, being an HD, it's also the same like being an HD, and uh, we want to make something more original. Is basically what he said in that article. I'm gonna link those articles, by the way, in the description so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't have the um, the the ability to pull it up right now without making my computer lag like hell because, like I said, I'm recording these live. So, yeah. And uh, that's another thing I'm probably gonna get next year. I was planning on getting a Wii U so that I could play Smash, but. <laughs> From the looks of it, I need to get a new computer so I can do more of this, more Let's Plays and stuff. Because the next thing that's going to be um, on the channel for Let's Play, if something doesn't come out before Majora's Mask 3DS comes out, it's going to be Majora's Mask 3DS. I'm going to do a Let's Play of that. I might actually, I might end up doing a Let's Play of Poke uh, Pokemon uh, Stadium. Uh, I might end up doing a Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, though. So... We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, for now, let me go ahead and get these items. Thanks, you guys, for listening to my little bullshit uh, story about how I feel like uh, Janishi Masuda needs to shut up and make these games. I really, well, it's not him. I just want the, the company just to do it. Like, stop waiting. I want want these games. The technology is there. The Wii was more than, look at fucking Pokken, Pokken Tournament. Look at Pokken Tournament. And he's talking about, oh, it's it's just not just not the means. That it just doesn't seem like it's the right time to make these games. Look at Pokken Tournament. It's going to be coming to the three i mean the wii u and it's gonna they're starting it off in arcades guys arcades come on it's a bunch of bullshit guys it's a bunch of bullshit i'll trade those back later for now let's just continue the story oh that just oh <sighs> whatever anyway so uh let's talk to wallace oh that pisses me off i really want these games to be made 
They need to hurry up and make them. They're not gonna do it though because uh 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 okay he's not here. Uh oh wait a minute I think we're supposed to go to uh <laughs> I think we need to go to the origin cave right I forgot about <laughs> I forgot that quickly just thinking about um the um <laughs> just. Just the uh, the story I was going over with the uh, why Pokemon Stadium 3D is not happening or anything, whatever it's called, and the pocket monster stuff. The, 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 yeah. All right. So we need to go around through here. Oh boy. Alrighty then. Uh uh uh, uh yeah. Because I think um, we're gonna have to go through the routes for in a moment. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, Wallace being fabulous as ever. What a glorious turn of events. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> is it really? Uh, to think that this tree, I never knew we had received it from that huge man who visited from the Kalos region. Goodness me, old master. This has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. Oh, <laughs> you're too kind, Master Wallace. <laughs> no, 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 you're too modest. <laughs> now then, uh, welcome again to Cetopolis, our new champion, Brian. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to the Sky Pillar? Is it, tr it is true that the cave that leads to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Sotopolis, as indeed I am, or by one of the Draconids, who have also lived in Hoenn since ancient times. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for the ascension of Rayquaza, that legendary Pokemon long ago said to be the protector of the whole Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconda people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Stephen has told me to the sto Stephen has told me of the woman Zinnia. She must be trying to revive Kyo Rayquaza. I'm gonna say Kyogre. She must be trying to re re revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar tower towers over everything upon uh, the Sky Pillar towers over everything upon one of Route 131 small islands. Isn't that the destination that the meteorite was inten originally intended to um, land? Interesting. Oh, and by the way, the proof that this is um, the uh, a tree that uh, AZ left, if you notice right down here, that red flower that's triangular, that's actually the AZ's floet flower, the internal flower. That's the same type of flower that uh, AZ and only AZ's Pokemon has. So, yeah, that that's um, definitely his tree. But, was it always there? Like, did AZ visit years ago and just leave it there on the top of this? Or did he recently leave it there? That's what I want to know. Whoa! What the hey? <laughs> I, for, I forgot, yeah, wild battles can happen in the sky. All right, then, Duke. You can fly twice as high because they don't care about sky battles anymore, apparently. So, whatever. And by the way, I'm over that rant, that, that little rant. Um, we're supposed to be heading to uh, Route 131, which is basically around here. So, let me just see if I can get as close. I think this is about as close as I can get. Alright, we're gonna land here. <sighs> Craziness. I wish you could see the Sky Pillar when you're flying, but apparently you can't see it, so I don't know why. But, whatever. Alright, I should still have uh, Repel on, so let's go ahead and get this in. I know there's battles and stuff that are probably going to happen, so I'm going to see if I can like skip around as many of them as I can, so we can get through this story and catch my Rayquaza. Uh, okay, Route 129. Uh, wait, I don't think that's the right way. Wait, let me look at the map. The map! Okay, actually, yeah, this is the right way. Okay, get out of my face. And... Don't, don't talk to me, don't talk to me! Okay, let's get away from you, and uh, I think we're good. We're golden. This is a huge underwater area. Go! Okay, what the oh, shit? Shit! 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 I don't know which way she was going. Okay, I'm gonna say. Okay, you're not turning good. Okay, and I think. Uh, uh, let me get away from you. And okay, I think this is it right here. Let me see here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, this is it. Okay, give me a sec, guys. Let me just make sure my, um, okay, it is all good. All right, then, we're good to go. Let's do this. Who's in first? I want to have, uh, yeah, I want you in first this time. SD equals nothing. And, ah, here we go. All right, Wallace, you open the door for me. Thanks. So you come, Brian. 
As you can see, I haven't done this seal in the interest to the Sky Pillar. Follow the path within, and you will reach the pillar in time. However, to go beyond this point, there is one more trial you must overcome. This is my duty as one of the ancient Sutophilians. Wait a minute. S okay, Sutopolis City. Sutopolitians. Sutopolitians? I don't know. As one of the ancient Sutopolitians, as a duty passed down to me by my former master, you must battle me here and now. Prove to me that you, your, your power is great enough to face what lies ahead. Now tell me, are you prepared? Yep, let's do this. Then let us begin, Champion Mahowin. You should, uh, you who should exhibit the most grateful, the most graceful of art in battle with your Pokemon. I would have you show me your true strength. <laughs> All right, Wallace, Mr. Uh, suave and sexy. Sutophilish and Wallace since out of Lord. So now he's not gym leader Wallace, he's Sutophilish and Wallace. <laughs> oh wow, this man has a team of six! Okay, boss! Wither Kane touched me, so it's fine. Let's just go for home calls. I'm about to destroy this. Ah! He had to switch out because he couldn't touch me. Into Gyarados. Gyarados probably has bounce. Ugh. I'm pretty sure he has bounce or a fire move. Alright then, so I'm at plus one in accuracy. I'm just gonna go for the uh, Phantom Force to see what he's- Oh no! Oh, Of course. <laughs> I need to get that Focus Sash. Alright then, so, uh, you wanna play that way, boss? Got something for you, boss? Got an Aggron for you, bruh! You gonna catch that, uh, that Stone Edge that I actually don't have. Shit! <laughs> I forgot to give him moves! Uh, Fuck. All right, let's go into Essie then. Mega up. Screw it. <laughs> well, that was a uh, that plan backfired. Ugh, waterfall. I'm eating that up. Not a problem. Mm, nutritious. Mm, oh, so good. Mm, oh. All right. <laughs> Mega Shinka. Mega Septile. The power is here. Gladius. And almost dead. Oh shit! Oh! Woo! <laughs> that would have been bad news! Oh god. That would have been bad news if I had freezed or crit. Oh no. Because being ice, I mean, grass dragon, super duper weak to ice. And I don't even have Giga Drain. I can't even heal after taking this Wailer down with a uh, Leaf Blade. Doggone it! Oh well. Slice, slice, slice. Get him out of here. Ah, oh, I wish I had Giga Drain. I have to teach this guy. I think it's a. Uh, oh, actually, you know, I think that's a uh, move to move. My Lodic, you can get this work too. Uh, now, actually, my Lodic might actually live with Leaf Blade, so let's go for Leaf Storm. Ah, nice kill missile. Glorious. That's the shot I love to see. See, that's what I wanted to happen to Steven's Metagross, but you had to fucking miss like a plebeian. But whatever. Rudy Colo switch out. I don't like that. Uh, let's go into No Mega because what is a Rudy Colo to a No Mega? Actually, it can probably take Earthquake, but I do have Fly, so we're gonna go for Fly. <sighs> And Ice Beam, please kill this thing because you you guys being weak to ice and all is really bad. And we did, thank goodness, it took him out. Mirror Beat Deuces. Tentacruel, Tentacle Porn. Okay, I need to stop. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can hit this earthquake, though. That's why I stayed in. Whoa. And he's done. Oh, wait, he's got one more. I think it's a wall ring. Am I right? 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 Am I? It's a wish cash. But yeah, going back into SE because wish cash can get that work too. Leaf blade, GG no re. All right, SE. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I really wish wish cash got a mega. That would have been awesome. But you know, favoritism of other Pokemon. Whatever. Okay. Okay, whatever. To defeat me, a descendant of the ancient Sutopolis, of ancient Sutopolis, of the of the ancient Sutopolis people, and even when I was holding nothing back, 
Come on, Wallace. Don't don't be like that. I gotta save the world, bruh. As I have come to expect from you, Brian. You are an excellent Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon that you sent out in the battle, at, at times dancing as lightly as an elusive spring breeze. Yet the strike with a sudden surety is the lightning from the. Shut up! Oh my God! <laughs> You and your poetry! I don't care! Get out of my face! I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean it. But Jesus Louise! I ain't got time for this! Let's go! <laughs> oh, uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, never mind then. Alright, well, we're about to hear it again anyway, so whatever. Uh or not. Okay. Ooh, I kinda like this music. So you came for me. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, this girl with her clapping. That's really good, Brian. I really feel it right here. Mm -hmm. Since you've been a good boy, I think I'm going to give you something I've been keeping. This music is kind of intense. Look, the paintings that cover the, all the walls of this tower. See, these are the history of humanity, of Pokemon, and of nature itself. They're the tales that have been passed down by me, uh, by my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years. And now, I will pass this history and lore onto you. The deepest lore! <laughs> we must go deeper, Zinnia. I'm gonna eat your bone. <sighs> okay. <laughs> thousands of years ago, in the primal age long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Pyro Cryogre fought over the energies in endless, furious clashes. In the face of the Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre's great power, people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. It was in such a time that great many meteoroids poured from the darkness of space from a place higher than even the heavens. And the meteoroids fell into the multitude upon a waterfall that had long been a home to a tribe of dragon-type Pokemon users. Interesting. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. I'll tell you on the next part of the story on the next floor. Look forward to it. Alright then, this music is really nice. I like it. It's almost Castlevania-like because of the, you know, the organ and everything. Um, I guess it's this way? Because I don't think we can... Uh... Yeah, okay. How do I get that? Wait, I want that ball. Hold on. So, okay, you can catch Pokemon here. Hold on, Zinnia, give me a minute. I want, to, I want that ball real quick. Yes. Oh, thank God that you can't fall through these these holes, because that would have been some horse shit. Oh, I hated that in the original uh, Sky Tower. Sky Tower? Sky, you know what I mean to say. Oh, okay. So, hey, we can get a uh, Kingdra now. Dragon Scale. Clearly requires us. Anyway, uh, okay. I do like this place though. It's very triangular, very Delta, very Rakuza, which is the Japanese name of Rakuza. Oh, here you are. Yeah, I had to get the Dragon Scale. Let me continue. It's finally time for Chapter Two. Here we go. All right, at, at last, right? <laughs> I know you're thrilled. You and your clapping, so adorable. The meteor shone with a rainbow brilliance, as if some. Uh, the meteor shone with rain with a rainbow brilliance, as if some great life was held within. That was when, as in drawn by the brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in a blazing green aura hue descended from the heavens. The Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of the two primal power, a primal Pokemon, and peace returned to this world. The people of the Hoenn. The people of Hoenn revere Rayquaza as a true savior. A thousand years later, after this time, the meteorites once again fell. A huge meteoroid, far greater than any before Penticipa and further than any before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean and leaving behind a crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became known as Sotophilus. Wow! Wow! And that's it. Chapter 2 is over. But we've only just left the starting line. There's a long way yet. Don't fall behind now. So wait a minute. That energy that we saw when we battled Primal Kyogre was the meteor from that many eons ago? This lore, man. Now our tale reaches the best part. Sutophilus was born from a great meteorite strike. The great meteoroid was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. 
When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it, and the great welling of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Grata once again awoke. The people had a wish, a memory from thousands of years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in emerald light would again appear. The huge meteorite that lay at the heart of the Subtopolis gave off a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast, powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it, and whence it came into the heavens. The people fell to their knees before Rayquaza and made a wish for salvation. As they did, a great change came over the legendary Pokemon. It was enveloped in a blinding light. As the light receded, they beheld a Rayquaza beyond all knowledge, a sublime figure, incandescent with overwhelming life force. Wow, so Mega Rayquaza. So, wow, so asteroids are megastones, confirmed, basically. Wow. So, but wait, the energy from the asteroid and the energy within the planet gave off the power, and then, oh my god, this shit is crazy, dude. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it was humanity's wish that brought about Rayquaza's transformation in the face of the Rainbow Stone. Yes, a wish. An intangible thing, invisible to the eye. Yet this wish bound people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to change its appearance. Doesn't it remind you of something? That's right, it sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? It's exactly that! It's exactly Mega Evolution! But instead of touching the Keystone, they made a wish. It's... oh my gosh. Th this is basically... Th th I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This explains everything. It's kind of explaining Primal Reversion. It's explaining Mega Evolution. How... Oh my gosh. This is... Woo! The deepest lore, man. Oh my goodness. Now what? And how do we end? And how did the story end? After the being transformed by the wish of the people, did Rayquaza save them from the disaster? I hope so. <laughs> Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. The golden flames that sprang from its body covered the sky. Wow. An emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind rose. Ooh. The Delta Stream. <laughs> the wind and emerald light visibly sapped the power from Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Wow. You straight up took their energy, dude. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of land and sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regretting its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelled. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land said, It is a Delta, born of the great disturbances in this world. By the bonds born of mankind's wish and the power of the stones, it will calm the troubles that plague the world. That was when the Draconids destructed their great tower to hold the rainbow stone that had granted Rayquaza its power and to try to get a little bit closer to Rayquaza in the heavens above. To record the history of their trials and their great feats of mighty Rayquaza, for all to know, they left behind the mural you, you see here. Wow, so AZ even then. Wow, dude. That's wow, man. Wow, wow. A giant tower and paintings of the past. You know, I feel like I've seen something like that recently. <laughs> uh, you know, because the, uh, the Granite Cave. Anyway, <clears throat> but now I suppose it's time for the last chapter in our tale. Our tale? Yo, this shit right here, man. Woo, boy. Alright then, so just go uh, this way. Okay. No, Sableye, leave me alone. At last, we reached the final chapter. Now what? A thousand years of peace followed after that disastrous time, but the Draconid people, learning from their long histories, uh, history cyclish. Cyclio, uh, the long history's uh, cycle nature foretold that the meteoroids would fall on this land again. The meteoroid to come, they prophesized, would be far greater than those that have come before it. This meteoroid would be great enough to break the world forever. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived as arrived at a plan. Their plan was to invoke Rayquaza, the great savior, and summon it to this land before the meteoroid could strike. Wow, Rayquaza is basically a god, dude! It's basically Arceus! <laughs> but not Arceus! It is, but it isn't! It's like, wow, and Arceus, where were you to help out the Hoenn people? Shit! Well, whatever, I guess he was like, you know, I'm gonna make Rayquaza, he's gonna do this, he's gonna keep the guys that make the ground and make the water in check, just to make sure they don't get too powerful. Come on now, Arceus, what the hell, dude? Oh my gosh, you just, I don't, whatever, anyway. And that's it. 
that's the end of our of our uh, of the Draconid's tale. I spent a long time thinking about how I could protect this happiness as many people as possible. What must I do? As one of the who holds both the knowledge and the power, one who bears the heavy wishes of those who could not live up to that fate. Well, I have to be really creative, you know. Yeah, you were creative. You were straight up stealing keystones, keystones from people. But I understand why now. You needed it for Rayquaza. Okay. Whew! Deep as lore, man. Whoa. Sure did get dark out here. Oh, boy. This is some stuff. I'm enjoying it, though. Wowzers. That's all I can say is wowzers. You see that, Aster? You always wanted to watch them, right? The Litleonoids. A million gathering stars falling from the sky. The show's about to start. Mur -mur. Aren't we happy now? <laughs> yes, what could be better, dear Aster? <laughs> Welcome to the Dragon Hark Altar. Dragon Hark Altar. Mm -hmm. Brian, you know what I'm trying to do here by now, don't you? Of course, you want to summon Rayquaza. Well, <laughs> that's right. I will summon Rayquaza to this world to destroy the meteoroid heading for Hoenn. That is my... It is our duty. Ever since I was a little girl, I have always turned my eyes up to the sky. When I was so full of uncertainty that I felt my heart might be crushed by it. When I was so gr grief-stricken and alone, I thought my heart might break of it. I turned and looked up there so that my tears would never ever fall. What about you? Have you ever had, had to do something like that? Well, I'll just tell her the truth. I mean, I could tell her never, but I'll just say I have, because just to be nice, right? I used to watch the stars like this all the time, together with Aster. We were always together, in good times and in bad. <laughs> I loved her. I loved her with everything I had. But I still lost her. <laughs> I want to see her. I want to be with her again, my sweet Aster. Mm -hmm. I will, won't I? With this, just a little longer. Who's Aster? You mean the Whismer? Wait, what? What? Guess I should say good morning. You slept well, didn't you? <laughs> you look so adorable when you sleep. Sorry about knocking you the whole knocking you out thing. You knocked me out? What the fuck is with this girl? This woman, I should say woman. I'm pretty sure you know what, let's get back to the story. Enough. I think it's time I gave it a shot. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. It's something if something happens to me, please take this little one. All right, here we go. Okay, here I go. With jewel bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed, through the sacred, the sacred rite in thy sh great shine, my life as well I offer. The keystones that Zinnia holds are giving off a blinding light. Whoa. Oh. Up. Oh. I summon thee to aid this fight and save us from disaster. Realize them upon this world, for this I do summon thee. Rayquaza! Uh, is he is he coming? Up oh, here he is! Ha ha! What up, boss? What up, boss? You did it! He's here! To save the world! Rayquaza! I did it! I, I did it! Now the world will be saved! Aster! Aster, I did it! Great Rayquaza, hear my wish! Achieve your mega evolution! Take hold of your true power! Show me your true face! The Rayquaza that will save this planet! Zinnia's Keystone does not react. Huh? H how can this be? I gathered all the keystone that could withstand your great power and summon you here. You came, and yet, why? C 
Come on, do it! Meg evolve! Why? Where won't you? His keystone does not react. What? It can't be. The one without enough power is you, Rayquaza? The meteorites that should lie within Rayquaza's great body aren't enough? Have these thousands of years drained them of their power? <sighs> this can't be. I can't. I. I. Everything I've done till now. Esther. I can't. I can't take it anymore. <gasps> Wait a minute! My meteorite! Uh oh. That's. Oh, the glow of Brian's meteorite grew even stronger. I think it became a mega stone, guys. What? That meteorite? It's just like a mega stone. What happened? Requaza swallowed Brian's meteorite. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there we go! Light is spilling forth from within Rayquaza's body. There we go! Now we got that power, baby! Now we can do it! So he needed me after all, and not you. Whoa! Swallowing meteorites allows it to store as much power as a Megastone. Your meteorites summon forth the power needed for Rayquaza to Mega Evolve. Whoa! Definitely! Holy balls! Amazing. It's amazing, Brian. Rayquaza is trying to build up power. It wants power for its it wants power for itself to take you on. Use everything you've got and win over Rayquaza. You have to master it. This is how the legendary Pokemon that all Hoenn views as our great protector, and the only one who can direct it now is you. You have to do this. Of course, I I know I have to do this. Don't don't fucking tell me what to do. All right, Rayquaza. Okay, level 70. Uh, I'm gonna give him 10 Ultra Balls. If he does, well, I'll say 20, because I think I have 20, right? Let me see. How many do I have? Okay, I have, okay, I'll give him 20 Ultra Balls. If he doesn't stay in there, we, we're throwing the Master Ball. I'll try, okay, guys? I'm gonna try. All right, uh, let's see. I think the best bet went to go for Strength. Let's just go for Strength real quick. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's see how much this does. I can't go for Dragon Claw. That would kill the guy. Uh, let's try Fly. That didn't do as much as I was hope I would hope it do. Ooh. Woo! That's a strong Rayquaza. Oh boy. Okay, I might have to switch to Essie. Dragon Dance again. Oh my God, this man. This man might end up killing us. Oh God. What? Oh no, this man is going to end up destroying us. Oh no, he's getting too strong, guys. This is bad news. Alright, let me see if I can get another one. Oh shit. Dead. Definitely. Okay, so he's got Extreme Speed, Dragon Dance, and Dragon Pulse. I don't know what his other move is. Uh, let's go for Fire Blast. Actually, I'm going to go for Dive. Hopefully, that won't kill him. I think... Uh, no, no, no. Waterfall, not Dive. Let's try that. Oh, yes! Fly! Okay. Well, then. Shit. I guess I should go for Dive, then. Oh, wait. Oops. How did I hide in the water in the... whatever. Alright, let's see how much that does. Damn, that did nothing. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let's just try it from here. Alright, let's let's see how uh, how, the, how well he takes this. I really wish we had critical captures. Oh, I gotta turn on capture power. I just forgot. Dragon Pulse. 
I'm gonna try to hit him with the surf. I do not want to kill this guy. I didn't save either. Shit. Alright. Hopefully this, uh... Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, next Pokemon. Aggron. Let's just go with Aggron. Aggron can take any hit. It doesn't even matter. But, uh, knowing Aggron, he might end up killing uh, him. So, let's just go for the, uh, protect real quick. There we go. Okay, then. Now we should be able to take any hit he has. And I just gave myself Capture Power S, so it should, it should be a, a little easier to catch him now, hopefully. I want to get him in an Ultra Ball, man. I really do. Wow! I have no problems with that. All right, then. We got him. <laughs> No problem with that. All right, uh, appropriate nickname. Let me think here. Rayquaza. Delta. Perfect. Rayquaza wishes to join your party. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We've got to stop the meteorite. Well, I guess we can um, take out Mastercard. <laughs> we don't need him at this point, right? Yep. Okay then. Is it over? Mer. Congratulations, Brian, and thank you. History has chosen you. The true remains that Requaza. The truth remains that Requaza chose you and not me. But. While I don't know how to put it into words exactly, I think I understand why. You will be the successor to our long history now, and I pass to you the final key to reveal Rayquaza's true power, the move that only it can learn, Dragon Ascent. Oh, nice. That's it then. I guess it's time that I do my last task as Lord Keeper. You have attained Rayquaza's power for your own. Now I have to. Uh, now I have you prove to me that you can master that power in battle. This is my final, the final duty of the last Lord Keeper of the Draconid people. Show me that you can exceed it. The entirety of history that we have clung to until today. Phew. My pulse. I can feel it racing. Yes, I'm feeling totally pumped. Ah, this is it. Oh God, that face. Okay, monkey girl. I like this music, though. All right, Rayquaza. Let's see that beautiful power, that mega evolution. My wish has reached you, Rayquaza. Mega evolve. Oh yeah! We in there, baby! The Delta is here. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. We in there. It's over. Okay, this ought to be good. Oh yeah. Here we go! Woo! Oh, 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 this is gonna be quick. Oh, oh, this is gonna be quick. All she has is Dragon Types too. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be real quick. All right, then. Tyrantrum, we're going to stay in. is going to just take out everybody real quick. I ain't even going to worry about it. Because we got Dragon Balls. This is going to be easy, man. Yep. Oh, it's done. It's done. <laughs> it's done. It's done. <laughs> oh, this is going to be super fast. Wow. All right, then. What is an Altaria to Mega Rayquaza? You can catch this Dragon Pulse! Get out of here. You don't want it. You don't want it! <laughs> Alright then. Noivern, you can catch this Dragon Pulse too, son! What is up with all these frail ass dragons, Zinnia? Come on now. Where's that Salamence? Show me that Mega Salamence though. Let me bop his ass real quick. Come on now. Come on now, Zinnia. You're no better than that, Gally. 
Ah, here he is. Alright then. Show me your power salamis. See, I would go for Dragon Ascent, but because I already went for it, I don't want to do it and I might die. And this is a Mega Salamis who also just recently got banned to Ubers himself. So, you know what? Let me just uh, play it safe and just go for the Dragon Balls. One shot it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sorry about that, Mega Salamence. Woo! Metal Burst? Sure. I can get rid of all some Myers. Alright, then. I think that was our last Pokemon, too. Yep. Just like I expect of you, Brian. <laughs> I guess it falls to you now. That settles it then. Brian, you should you should even be able to beat the meteoroid that's approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza together. I am leaving the task to you, our new successor. Successor Brian. You and Rayquaza must protect nature, people, the Pokemon. Alright then, I guess we're about to go into space! Oh shit, here we go! Yep, we're going into space. Oh man, because it was in the trailer too. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see this shit. Wish me luck, Zinnia! Alright, Rayquaza, let's do this. Let's take out that meteorite. Let's save the world, baby! Oh my god, this music. <laughs> this is definitely some Pokemon music. This is something you would hear in the anime. Yep, there's the scene from the uh, trailer. Wow. Alright, there it is. Here we come. Wait a minute, let me slip to the uh, top screen real quick. Oh shit, that's not it. There we go. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry guys. Alright, he just mega evolved, yeah. Oh look, it's the Delta! He's in the triangle! <laughs> it's pretty raw! That's raw! I didn't know that would happen. Wow. Alright then, Rayquaza. It's all on you, baby! You got this! Take him out! Oh shit! It's entering the Earth atmosphere! Ah! Got him! That's it! We did it, guys. We saved the world. Woo! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit, dog! Is that what I think it is? Yep! Oh, it's over! 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 It's Deoxys. Oh my god, please tell me they got a remix. I'm so ready. Please, please, please. Yes! Wait a minute. You know, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Level 80! Oh my lord! Yo, it's over. Oh my god. We actually get to fight Deoxys in space with Rayquaza! I wanna watch Destiny Deoxys tonight, man! Oh ho ho! But wait a minute. Deoxys has shit defense. Even in normal form, Deoxys has shit defense. So if I hit him with anything, he's probably gonna die. Oh my god, I think it's like 50. It's really it's really low though. I know Deoxys attack form is like 20. And oddly enough, Deoxys speed has like uh higher defenses than this Deoxys. Oh shit. Who am I gonna use? Fuck! Everybody's gonna kill him! The only thing I think I could use is uh, probably Essie. Or Agron. Agron. Okay, let's go into Agron. Agron in space! Oh my god, guys, this is amazing. Yo. We get to fight the Oxus in space. This music, hold on. Oh! Oh no! 
That's no good. All right, we have to use Duke. Shit. Oh, I can do Rock Smash. That's it. That's what we'll do. Rock Smash. Uh, let's see how much. What, what does Secret Power do up in here anyway? Oh my God! Please. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh. Let's see what it does. Swift. Well then. Oh my God! That did a lot of damage, dude. See, right? Oh my God! I can't do anything. I have to Rock Smash. I have to. Please, 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 Dax. Dax, please. Dax, please. Dax, please. Dax. Okay, good. Holy shit. All right, Rock Smash. Here we go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We got this. Lowers the fence again. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Okay. Um, shit. I think he's probably gonna go for. Oh, he went for. Fucking recover. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay. Try rock smash again and recover again. Okay, great. I'm gonna try and go for swift again and see how much it does when he's at full health. Let me see if he's gonna do it again though. Let me, let me let me see how much this does. I hope this doesn't kill him. Oh, he went for Cosmic. Pro okay, this probably won't kill, but he's at negative one now. All right, let's see how much this does. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's just chuck one real quick. Let's see. Let's let's let's, let's see what happens. I know DX has a low ass catch rate, just like Kyogre. Let's just see how much it does. Let's just see. Woo! This might be long. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shit. Uh. Oh! Why didn't I think of that in the first place? Duh! He can't hit us with anything! Perfect! This is perfect. I can just chuck Ultra Ball for days! I'll just keep chucking him until I run out. And then when I run out, fuck it. Uh, Master Ball. <laughs> I'm going to catch you in Ultra Ball. You can't touch me with anything. It's perfect. It's fine. We done. It's over. I'm just going to sit back and listen to music, so I'll be quiet. It. I got nothing for Shedinja! Shedinja's the champion! <laughs> Shedinja's the one, and only Shedinja! <laughs> Deoxys' worst fear. Not a Shedinja! I can't touch it! Damn it! <laughs> nice! Oh my god. Why did Kyogre have to be the one to give me the work, though? Damn! Wow! Alright then. <laughs> there you go. Illuminati? <laughs> because he's uh, 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 the triangle, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Wow. Well, we got a Deoxys in game. No longer is he event exclusive. And uh, we saved the world. Whew. Fuck me. Oh, my gosh. I guess we flew back. Murmur. And you received a letter from Aster. I was finally able to bring everything to an end. I thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time during now to find out if it's possible to forge a new beginning from something once lost. Until we meet again, Zinnia. Wow. Alright, Zinnia. We saved the world. The NG regions appear to be diffusing. We we can confirm that the meteoroid has been destroyed, sir. P -p 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 Professor! The meteoroid! The meteoroid! It's it's thanks to the powers above! It's calm yourself, man! Oh I'm not kidding! I'm so happy I could kiss you! <laughs> we did <laughs> Wait a minute! Pause! <laughs> oh god! We did it! We actually did it! <laughs> Success is ours! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Thank you, Brian. Ah, oh, no problem, Professor Cosmo. I don't need a kiss, though, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll be leaving then. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Dad. W wait just a minute, Wally. 
That's right! Are you okay? You look like you were in trouble recently when those strange thugs came around. Of course! My Pokemon are fit for anything. See, Brian got my Keystone back for me. Hey! See, I got you, bruh! Wally, I got you, bruh! I'm your partner, bruh! I'm cool, we cool. And, uh, <clears throat> and Mr. Norman gave me a ticket to a resort. That sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. The Battle Resort. I already know all about it. I've been talking with my friends, so I already know about that. My, my, I never dreamed I would one day think that Wally was too well. <laughs> yes, but he looks so honest and happy that I can't, I can't help feeling happy, too. Aww. <sighs> Bro, sorry. Archie, it looks like Matt feels sorry for what he's done. It's unforgivable. Ah, bro. Absolutely unforgivable! Um, Archie, I can't forgive what I've done! Huh? I mean, huh? I've drove my own loyal crew to such despair as this. I have no right to call myself a leader anymore. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I truly am. Oh, bro. I'm planning to start everything over from scratch, Matt. What happened back then with Kyogre, and what happened this time? Look, you can't do anything if you're all wrapped up in what you believe. Team Aqua or Team Magma, people or Pokemon, there's no reason why we gotta pick just one of them. It might be pain, it might be a pain, it might even be a bit scary, but we've gotta take the step into the unknown. Mixed with people who aren't like us. That's the kind of Team Aqua that I want us to be from now on. You think you can be a part of that uh, Team Aqua, Matt? Oh, oh, you bet I will! I can't believe these two. <laughs> what do they think they're doing standing there with their faces all wet with tears? Well, I guess it could be worse. Oh, <laughs> they're crying. That's adorable. <sighs> I still owe you for the help at Sky Pillar. Thank you for that. <laughs> How unlikely for you to be so thoughtful. <laughs> you know, this experience really brought it home for me again. That there is still so much about this world that I do not know. I wonder what would have happened to Hoenn if Brian had not been here to aid us with, and that uh, with with this and the incident with the Super Ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. There is no one person in the world who knows all. No one can know that. No, no, none who can do all. Stephen, there is no cause for such worry or concern. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that I'm shocked by my own disappointing performance, but rather... Rather what? I was just thinking how much more there is to I must learn about nature, about Pokemon, and about my fellow humans as well. If I am to keep living in this huge wide world, I want to walk with the world on my own two feet, to see it with my own eyes, to feel it with my own very skin. I need to put into practice all the advice I've ever given to Brian. That's what I'm thinking now. Hmm? Steven, you can't intend it. <laughs> but do not fear. I won't just disappear at once. I'll still be playing. I'll still be around doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League. But hmm, when the time does come for me to pursue my own hopes, well, I hope that you, Wallace, will be behind me to lead, lend a hand. <laughs> it seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered air. I, Wallace, will do this thing you wish. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. The pampered heir, because he's the Stephen Stone's son. Yeah, uh, uh, Devin's son. What anyway? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Aston, it's over. It's all over. Zinnia, my child. Granny, you have woken. You have worked so hard. It's enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go now. For everything there must be an ending. Only then, only then can there be a new beginning. This is an in, in, immutable truth that all living things on this planet, great and small, must accept. We draconis have seen it in our history, as you have seen it in your own life. Now is the time for rest. Let down that great burden you have borne so long ago, so that you might take a last take at step four toward a new life. Now is the time for rest. Yes. <clears throat> I wonder what happened to her in the past. 
She lost somebody important to her that she called Aster. Was it a sister? A daughter? They also call her woman, which means she's probably, you know, of age to have a kid. So maybe it was a daughter. It could be a sister, or maybe it was a poke. I don't know, but whatever. I suppose May and Brian have probably arrived by now. I imagine so. The weather is good today. This should get a good view of the stars. But you know, I really am glad we moved from Johto. I think that meeting you, Birch, and Mrs. Birch, little and little May, has had a huge impact on Brian's life. Uh, oh, it's just the same thing for our May. Don't you agree, dear? Of course. Whenever she does make it home, all May has to talk about is Pokemon and her precious friend, Brian. I think she's over the moon about this adventure and the great friend she's found. I think that our boy is just the same. He's always looked so happy these days. I hope you'll continue to look after Brian for many years to come. <laughs> Why, Norman? I didn't really think you even needed to ask. Nothing could do. Nothing could make me happier. <laughs> Thanks, old friend. Well then, <clears throat> well then, dear, isn't it about time we headed back home? I, su I suppose I should get supper started. Oh yes, those kids will probably be starting by the time they get home. Oh, I didn't make any. Uh, I didn't make any plans for dinner. What do you think we should have, dear? Hmm. How about our little boy's favorite? Ooh. Pizza? Hey, pizza and wings? Let's go! Yes! Yes! Yes, bitch! Yes! A pizza and wings! Yes! <laughs> that's, that's probably my favorite meal. I'm not even kidding. I love me some pizza and wings, man. Give me some real beer. I'm done. Oh, it's over. Itis! <laughs> oh, yes. Pepperoni, barbecue. Ooh, root beer is over! <laughs> I mean, it could be any type of pizza. Just pepperoni is the one I like the most common. And it's also the most common. So I think this is our little date with uh, May for the... Um... <laughs> oh, this is adorable. <laughs> she wants it, man. She's going to get it. I'm going to give it a Xenia, too. But uh, I'm going to let her do what she needs to do. <clears throat> that was amazing. Those So, so those are the Lit Leonids. I really, I'm really going to need to thank your dad for this one. Cause, come on, I've never felt this touch before. Oh, and I guess I should thank you too, Brian. I'm so glad I got to see this with you. Thank you for visiting the Moss Deep Space Center. The center will be closing shortly. Please make sure you don't forget anything when you leave. <sighs> it's true what they say, though. Time really flies fast when you're having fun. Yep, totally agree with you, May. And boy, it's only—it's almost been two hours in this uh, this uh, Delta episode, and I think this is it now. Well, bye then. All right, see ya, Brian. See you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Nah, you'll see me in a second. I'm about to go over the house. No, walk over the house, boy! Go over to get your poon! <sighs> You're back at last. Welcome home, Brian. Mom, Dad, pizza and wings! How'd you know? My favorite! <laughs> well, that's officially it. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Delta episode in. And that's the end of the um, post-game part. Uh, this part of the post-game. In the next part, we will be doing... Um, the capture of all the legendary Pokemons, the Regis, Latios with the, with the uh, Eon ticket, uh, 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 Raikou, all the all the legendaries, all of them in one giant part. And uh, that's it. So uh, once again, I do want to thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, let's plays, Wi-Fi battles, week sub streams, all of that good jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. B2J135 signing out. Love you guys. Deuces.